here with my boy Mark. He should have been the lead singer of my favorite group, the Bar K's. <laughs> and Larry Dawson retired, you dig? Mark, Mark. So, uh, how long were you down in Memphis auditioning for the uh, position? Well, actually, uh, uh, Larry, Larry Dawson, and James Alexander, they flew me down there for like three months in a row for about four days. I went down there and uh, I worked with them. But uh, things didn't work out, so they ended up going with the guy. I think Chris is doing a great job. You think he's doing a great job? Yeah, I think he's doing a great job. I mean, I, I mean, it's. it's I've been offered a lot of positions, man. You used to be the lead singer for um, LTD? I'm still with LTD right now. Still with LTD. I, I was there, left, came back. We just got the uh, uh, R&B Living Legend Award uh, back in May in Cleveland, Ohio. It's actually on, uh, the award show is actually on Amazon Prime right now. Dig it, dig it, dig it. yeah. Well, check this out, man. Let me see that ponytail, man. That's Larry Dotson all the way. Look at that. Come on, y'all. Memphis, Memphis, Memphis. Tell me, tell me. <laughs> we grew up, Larry <laughs> Dotson. You know what I mean? Look. Um, this, um, he should have been, he should have been the lead singer. You know. No disrespect to the homeboy. I love you too. But this dude here fits my homeboys. Yeah. You did. You did. <laughs> but you know, Uncle Larry, Uncle Larry and I are very close, man. He's stayed in my house when he comes to Vegas. He and his wife sometime, man. We're still very, very close, man. And that's 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 uncle to me, man. And we, I mean, he's he's doing his thing too, bro. And, I, and he's he's actually set in with my band in Vegas. He's in Vegas? Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Let me ask you something. So, uh, do you ever do anything down? south or you just normally stay in LA, Vegas, uh, this area here? Right now we're just doing this area. We, only the furthest we've gone is uh, Seattle, Washington area. Most of shooting casino and most everything else is Southern California and a couple of casinos in Las Vegas. Hey, let, me tell you, let me tell you guys something about Mark. Mark is from Ohio. I think he's from Dayton, they, Ohio. They land of the fuck, yeah, he's from the land of the fuck, baby. You know what? And Larry will always give it up to guys like George Clinton that gave them their first big break and put them on, you know what I mean? But you, let me tell you something else too. You know, coming from Dayton, I came up under uh, the Lakeside and got those guys like that. You Dig know, it. Everybody knows it from Dayton, Ohio. I was managed uh, by the Ohio Players in the group that I was in when I was like 14. And, but, you know, you got the Ohio Players, Heat Wave, Lakeside, Slade, Roger Zapp, Dayton. You got all of those groups coming out of there, man. So that was it was it was just in our neighborhood. But one thing about Lakeside, who who were like my big brothers, I'm very very close to Lakeside, and they told me when they when they started touring and touring with the Barcades, and I got the stories from both sides, just to give you guys to be proud of your uh, Memphis history. Larry Dotson was the one that told Lakeside to do funk. They were a doo wop type of group. So Larry D told them to do four? Wow. He, he told me that story <laughs> and then they told me, they said, we went into the funk side because Larry Dawson watched us when we were on tour together. He said, man, you guys got the element. Y'all need to get off the doo-wop thing because you think about it, it's the same thing he did because everybody don't know that, I don't know if they know him, because Larry was the founder of the Tim Priest. Yeah, but Larry's from Carver High, dig. And, and then he went with the Bar Case. He, yeah. Tim Priest was doo -wop. Yeah. Bar Case was funk. Bar Case was funk, and, baby, and, all the and, way. And all the way. And so he shared that with Lakeside because they were doing the same thing like the Tim Priest kind of thing. He saw what they had, and the rest is history. This dude here should have been the lead <laughs> singer of the park cage, you did. He's being biased, man. He gets to see me all the time. Hey, let me tell everybody. Check, one, check out some of my stuff on my, on my website, dreamstonellc.com. Look at some of the snippets of me on there, or catch me on YouTube under my uh, under Dreamstone or my stage name, Frederick, T-R-E-S-U-R-E. Dig it. You guys, thank you, man. Thanks okay, I appreciate it.